My name is uh, Géraldine Amberclery and I'm working at uh, Millimage as an um, international sales manager. Uh, Millimage have been created in 1991 by Rock Lehner and uh, we produce, develop and uh, uh, we license also um, our content. We have over 75 IP that we sell all over the world and uh, our, I will say, uh, highlight, the, the product that we highlight that works very well are Molang and uh, we have also Mook and Didu and most of um, the things that you bought actually. And uh, we also recently developed uh, Molang YouTuber for our older uh, audience who grew up with Molang. So we also have some time over than plus 10 million view per episode. It's working very well. And uh, also all over the world, we have very, very good um, results about uh, our product. So we're very proud of it. <laughs> we want to push and we wish uh, it will continue. Hello, my name is Guillermo Sierra. I am the head of television and digital services for HITN. HITN is the only public broadcaster in Spanish language in the United States. We have a population of over 50 million Hispanics in the U.S., so it's becoming a very important audience, and we are the only uh, public service that, that, that is available. We have a linear channel in the U.S. that covers the whole country. It's in more than 38 million homes, and we also now have a preschool service that started for the U.S., but it's available as an SBOD service in all of Latin America and Brazil. And, uh, and we're very happy to be here. We buy a lot of content from French companies from many years back. Uh, I think I started coming to some of these markets like 20 years ago. <laughs> and, uh, and I'm always very happy to, to be here and participate in these events. Actually, as far as I know, you were there, I was not, but I know it started in 2019, if I'm correct. Yes, five years ago. Yeah. We, when we launched uh, EDI, which is our preschool service for all of... Uh, it started as a service for the United States and then it expanded by, to all of Latin America and Brazil. One of the very first properties that we bought was Mulang, and, uh, which is a Millie Smash property, very, very popular in Latin America, very well known. And it became one of the brand definitions for our, for our service. In most of our promotions, we always highlight uh, Mulang. And then we acquired Pirate Capitano, MOOC, uh, Truck Games, and other shows from, from Millimash. Uh, we have had a wonderful collaboration. It's a really, really nice company to work with. The content is of extraordinary quality, but also the service, the delivery, the friendships. It's, 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 we're very, very happy working with them. And I know it's something that we share because when I start in the company, they told me, you will see it's a very great pleasure to work with you. People told me a lot of things with, about you and I can see through the year, you know, they grew up uh, with us also and they have been faithful um, through the year. Yeah, we're, we're very thankful to all our distributors and uh, and, and particular Millimash has been a very important player. And we have uh, several other French distributors. It's the, the quality of animation that France is doing and that is um, exporting. It's, it's really important. We have identified a number of properties and, uh, and we're always very happy working with, with, with French production companies. It's always a, a wonderful experience. Well, to, to be honest, Mulang was so very, very successful by the time we bought it. Mulang was, uh, had a presence in multiple, including free TV stations across Latin America. That was one of the reasons why we were very attracted to it, because Eddie is not a well-established brand. Uh, we, we, as an SBOD service up and coming, we're still building a brand, so we are as good as the content that we have. And, and, and this was one of the first properties that we identified because of that reason, because it was already very well established. And then other properties very quickly garner an audience. Uh, I think Pirate Capitano is a very good example. We, we get very good uh, response from that. Every time we put it in the displays or that we see our own affiliates promoting the service, it's one of the, it's, it's one of the shows that they always highlight and they always put on graphics or websites and everything because I think the images are very attractive and the characters are very well developed. It's, 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 it's is something that works really well. No? Yeah. I think, I, again, I have, I have acquired French productions for many, many years. In my uh, beginning, I used to buy a lot of uh, films. I used to run uh, the, a 
the only major premium uh, channel in Latin America that had a lot of European content. And French films, particularly comedies, worked really, really well in the region. They were always very well received. So we used to buy many, many tens of movies every year out of, out, out of France. And then uh, when I was at Discovery, we, we started doing some collaborations and working with some, some uh, documentaries. And it's also an area where France excels. I mean, it's the, the way you tell stories, the way uh, documentaries are put together, the quality, and also the depth. And, and something that was very in interesting for us is how often French companies look at Latin American stories and, and, and produce stories that happen in, in the region. That was always very surprising for us. There were more documentaries in France about places in Latin America than actually documentaries produced in Latin America. First, because there's more resources, there's more support here, there's a, there's a bigger industry. But it was also very interesting to see how we can easily find topics that are very relevant for us, uh, that are not necessarily European or, or French thematics, that work for us. And of course, there's very universal French thematics that, are, that work really, really well for us as well. So the combination of, we, we buy, for HITM, we buy a lot of factual content, we buy natural history, we buy science and technology, we buy some, some uh, public interest documentaries, some health, and of course all the preschool content that we were discussing. And in all those subgenres, we find that, that the French content is always of very high quality and something that travels really well and that we can adapt for our audiences. In my consent to introduce myself and uh, also to meet people um, because you know it's always very important to meet people in real than just by mail so we're expecting to exchange and to know each other and to understand what they're looking for what they need so in terms of um, of their I mean, if we don't know what our clients need, so then, you know, we cannot propose appropriate um, product. So that's why I was very really expecting to meet the people and uh, to share uh, also souvenir, because in this kind of uh, places, you can, you not talk about only uh, work. I mean, you can enjoy and speak about your life and have a drink and all that thing. And this is very important. And uh, I know it's very well, um, it's very appreciated. This kind of events organized by Unifrance is very uh, appreciated because it's not too crowded, it's not too big, it's not like the other market. So everybody's happy to see again. It's like a big family who come back to a place and everybody see each other after the summer. So it's a good way also to, to enjoy. <laughs> For us as well, I, I always, for many, many years ago, I believe that this is an industry of relationships. And that's really where we can contribute to our companies and where we can make a difference is by having a very wide network of relationships and, and really well-established friendships. Uh, over the years, we have done to, to meet a lot of people and, and to create true friendships. Uh, when we work together, when we collaborate, everybody's trying to look for the best for each other. It's always a win-win situation. And that starts in these kind of situations you know, where, where you get to meet people, to spend time with them, and to, as, as you were saying, to, to uh, hear their personal stories, to hear about their families, and to spend some time together. And the big, big markets are wonderful because you get to see so much content from all over the world and meet so many people. But the opportunity of the closeness and the relationship of sharing several meals a day and meeting in a small area and having these conversations, it makes a huge difference. It really, we, we have over the years established many strong friendships and, and that have helped all of us a lot in our career. So it's very, very appreciated. And we're always very thankful to organizations like Unifrance that, that promote it and, and that make it happen. Because if it weren't for you, it would be very, very difficult for any of these things to happen. So we're always very thankful for the invitation and for the opportunity to participate and be part of this event.